StreamZ 043 is out and this video will take you through the main changes and new features. This release has over 100 different PRs from over 15 different contributors. It supports Kubernetes 1.23 and newer, including the latest release, which is Kubernetes 1.31. But please keep in mind that this is the last Streamzy version with support for Kubernetes 1.23 and 1.24. From the next release, we will support only Kubernetes 1.25 and up. This version also adds support for Kafka 3.8.0, and it drops support for Kafka 3.6. That means that the supported Kafka versions are 3.8.0, 3.7.1, and 3.7.0. As with many of the previous versions, even in this release, we continue to refine our craft support. In the craft mode, the nodes which are scaled down and removed from the Kafka cluster need to be unregistered. This is currently not fully implemented in Apache Kafka, but in Streamz 043, we introduce a workaround which allows us to unregister the nodes which were removed. Please keep in mind that any nodes removed from the Kafka cluster before Streamz 043 might need to be unregistered manually. Outside of Craft, the main new feature is support for custom volumes. You can now specify custom volumes which will be mounted into any of the Streamz operands. The supported volume types currently include persistent volume claims, config maps and secrets, or empty dir volumes. This is a feature which many users were asking for, and it was also contributed by our users. The use cases include using the volumes for storing logs, using them for tiered storage, or using them with various Kafka Connect connectors. Another new feature is service account based authentication. Clients can now use Kubernetes service accounts and their tokens to authenticate when connecting to the Kafka brokers. This is an interesting feature, which is currently still a bit rough around the edges, and we plan some more refinements in the future releases. But please give it a try and let us know how you like it and whether this is worth the effort. As always, there are also many other smaller changes. You can now configure the Cruise Control API users as part of the Kafka custom resource. We have now example alerts for failed Kafka Connect connectors and their tasks. And the OAuth authentication plugin has some additional options. We also updated many of the dependencies and the related projects such as the drain cleaner, the HTTP bridge, or the Kafka exporter. There are of course also many additional smaller improvements and bug fixes. And that's it for this Streams release. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in all the other places as well to make sure you don't miss any other interesting Streams news.